Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snails, where medicine makes perfect sense, continuing our series of lectures about bleeding and coagulation disorders. In the previous video, we have talked about inherited thrombocytopenia, and in the video before that, we have talked about thrombostenia. Today, I'll talk about GP1B versus GP2B3A. GP1B is here, GP2B3A is here. GP1B is responsible for platelet adhesion to the subendothelial collagen. GP2B3A is responsible for platelet aggregation, which means they aggregate with another platelets. They hug each other. What does GP stand for? Glycoprotein, because anything that's active in your body is a bloody protein. Have you ever met any active carbohydrate, let alone active fat? Never ever. With that being said, now let's get started. GP1B versus GP2B3A. GP1B is also known as GP1B95. It's a complex. GP1B95 complex. It's also known as CD42. CD is the cluster of differentiation. And as you know, your policemen can identify you by your ID. We can identify those cells through their CD. Okay, how about GP2B3A? It's also known as platelet integrin. It's also known as alpha 2B beta 3. It's also known as integrin alpha 2B beta 3. This is the new name. GP2B3A is the old name, but they both go. Location. GP1B, it's part of the glycoprotein coat of the platelet. Fine. GP2B3A, same thing. Part of the glycoprotein coat of the platelet. GP1B, what's the function? Adhesion of the platelet. Were to the von Willebrand factor on the subendothelial collagen, baby. How about the GP2B3A? Aggregation, platelet aggregation, platelet binding to fibrinogen and to the next GP2B3A receptor. They bind to fibrinogen, then secondary hemostasis will convert this fibrinogen into strong fibrin fibers. Disease involving GP1B. We have deficiency of GP1B in case of Bernard Soulier disease, BSS, and these, these proteins are attacked by O2 antibodies in cases of immune thrombocytopenic purpura, ITP. GP2B3A deficient in Glenzman thrombosthenia and attacked by O2 antibodies in ITP. But if I told you this patient has ITP and they have O2 antibody and this O2 antibody will attack either this one or this one. If you want to play odds, okay, the ITP O2 antibodies commonly attack GP2BA3A and less commonly attack GP2B3A. That's why this one is bold. Influence. GP1B is influenced by ADP. The is not influenced by ADP. However, GP2B3A is influenced by ADP. I call it the whistleblower because it blows, it whistles for other platelets to come and aggregate and part of the dense granules, not the alpha granules. Pharmacology. There are no drugs that I know of that target the GP1B. However, there are many drugs that target the GP2B3A such as apsiximab, eptifabatide, terofiban, roxifiban, or bofiban. Who named these things? Collectively, they are known as GP2B3A inhibitors, which makes perfect sense. I have a great notebook called Perfect Snails Ultimate Notebook containing 100 pages about lymphoma and it's 100 megabytes, so it's like heavy information. You can get them together with 20 lymphoma cases and 25 bleeding cases by going to patreon.com forward slash medicosis, available for a limited number of students only, then the price will go up. Thank you so much guys for watching, please subscribe and join the tribe, hit the bell to get notified, follow me on Facebook, I have more than 90 cases on Facebook, it's facebook.com forward slash medicosis, and get my notes and many other cases on patreon.com forward slash medicosis, all of the illustrations that I've done on YouTube, they are more than 400 videos, their notes are available on patreon.com forward slash medicosis. Thank you guys for watching. Be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Snellos, where medicine makes perfect sense.